celebrating the Yukon Huskies. Some 20,000 people lined the streets of the capital city today to cheer on the women's team and their national championship win. But there was an important member of the team who was not at today's victory parade. News 8's Renee Schmiel takes us there. There's a lot of excitement in Hartford this afternoon. As you can see here, thousands of people have lined the streets, and this is why they're here to see the Yukon Huskies, the national champions. 100 year old Anita Benson is one of the Yukon women's biggest fans. Oh, I couldn't miss them on the TV. Oh, I saw everything. I watched them constantly. She goes to many of their games and didn't miss their victory parade. They're the best. The Yukon Huskies are the top dogs again. The national champions for the fourth year in a row. The three seniors to do that for four years is just so special. Fans wearing Yukon sweatshirts and blue and white, the school's colors, were excited to celebrate the team's success and to see their favorite players. It's just exciting. You know, you go from watching them on TV and then they're right here in front of you. It's just, just something you got to come see. And fans did see the team. The players and their coaches rode through the streets of Hartford, waving to their fans. Though a familiar face was missing. Um, head coach Gina Oriema was sick and that. had to miss the parade, yeah, well, but players were touched by how many people were there. I'm a freshman, so this is my first win and first time doing all this, and it's been, it's been crazy. It's really, really cool to see everyone just be so happy. A warm reception for the national champions on a chilly spring day that was a especially meaningful to some of the players. It was huge um, to be a part of that, um, especially since my, my last one, you know, seeing the fans kind of, you know, saying goodbye to them. And fans we spoke with say they hope to be right back here again next year in Hartford. Renee